All right, we're back, and uh, man. So, first it looked like we were gonna get a chance to talk more with Yuri, but we were cut off, though not explicitly by Monica. We we're cut off by a glitch, but I give you. 20 questions to figure out who caused said glitch. Shouldn't take you 20 questions to figure that out, though. So, here's hoping that nothing crazy happens right now. Let's see here. Starscape. Raindrops. Vitality. Waterfall. Oh, she likes that one. Huh, that's weird. Infinite. Vertigo. Oh, here we go. Great. Give. Huh. Let's see here. Now, I know that Yuri would like the word uncontrollable. She might like the word forgive, but I'm not sure. And there's no telling what would happen if I choose this word. So. Let's see here. Well, I saved at, like, the first word, so I think that just reload from there if I really wanted. <sighs> Let's just pretend like this isn't going on. Let's just go with uncontrollable. I find it curious how it's obscuring the word forgive. Okay. Variance. Philosophy. Vivacious Entropy Judgment Universe Incongruent Landscape Intellectual Determination. Unrestrained. Climax. Another day passes. It's time for the club meeting already. Got a little more comfortable here over the past couple days. Entering the club room, the usual scene greets me. Yep, totally usual scene here. Yep. Hey, Yuri. Welcome back, Alan. Hi, Yuri. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I should I shouldn't laugh now because oh f fuck. Does that say Ori in the background? I just noticed this now. For fuck's sakes. That's fucked up. <sighs> Sorry, Sayori. If I had known, I would have chosen your path first. But then again, there might have been some other tragedy that would have come up. You know how these lose-lose games work out. I'm not sure if it's me or if it's Yuri's expression, which is tough to see. But the weight of yesterday's quarrel still hangs in the air a little. Ah, uh, there you are. Um... Yuri glances over his shoulder, looking around the room. Atsuki is reading manga at a desk. Surprisingly, Monica isn't here yet. Oh, that's good. 
Okay, first thing we gotta do before she gets here is take down that poster there. It's tr- It's kinda triggering. Suddenly, so Yuri takes my arm and pulls me to the corner of the room. About yesterday... I... I really need to apologize. Nothing like that has ever happened before. And something just came over me, I guess. Don't worry, Yuri. It's not you. It's the game. <laughs> I wasn't acting mentally sound. Please don't think we're usually like this. Not just me, but Natsuki as well. Yuri. I'm happy that you were considerate and apologized. You don't have to worry too much. Even though I've only been here a couple days, I could tell something was off yesterday. Yeah, no shit, visual novel me. Like, the whole scene was flipping out. Maybe we were just a little extra sensitive because it was our first time sharing poems. But whatever it was, it didn't make me think any less of you. I'd already decided that there's no way you can be a bad person. God damn it, me! Why'd you have to jinx it? Don't. We are. We have been on board the Yuri train for a long time now. And do not ruin it for me now. Now that you're apologizing, I know you didn't really mean it. Uh. Alan, don't say those kinds of things so frankly. They make me a little too happy. I'm really glad that you're such an understanding person. I'm really glad that you joined this club. Everything is a little br bit brighter with you around, Anne. Oh no, she's going to get cut off. I, I only ho I hope that's only figuratively. At this point, I'm fine with being figuratively cut off, just as long as there's no literal cuts. Uh... Sorry. What am I saying right now? Okay. That's fine. I just... Hey, have you guys seen Monica? Uh... No, I haven't. I was also kind of wondering where she was. <laughs> it... I don't know, if, she... if she's listening in, we're not safe. Man... Yuri, I'm guessing you haven't either. Uh-huh. Yuri is clearly taken aback by how calmly Natsuki is addressing her. Uh, no, I haven't. Jeez, this isn't like her at all. I know it's stupid, but I can't help but worry a little bit. Uh... What? Why are you looking at me like that? Um... Natsuki... About yesterday, I just wanted to apologize. Huh, it's kind of weird that I said that she she apologized when Yuri's just apologizing now. I'm pretty sure that she apologized last time before I mentioned it, so maybe that's just some carryover text. But I think that's intentionally carried over to be misleading. I promise I didn't mean any of the things I said. And I'll do my best to stay under control from now on. So, Yuri, what the heck are you talking about? Did you do something yesterday? Uh huh? Huh. Natsuki is completely unaware. Okay. So, let's see here. Levels of, of awareness. There's real life Alan, who's the most aware. There's Monica, who's pretty aware. And then it's hard to tell. I think that Yuri might be more aware than visual novel Alan. Then Natsuki is at the very bottom, apparently. Jeez. Whatever's on your mind, I'm sure it was nothing. Again with this weird text. So, yeah. I don't even remember anything bad happening. Natsuki, are, are you okay? Yes, I am totally normal. You're the kind of person who worries too much about the little things, aren't you? Uh, 
but, but, but. I'll accept your apology anyways, if it helps you feel better about it. Besides, it's kind of nice to hear, since I was af always afraid you secretly hated me or something like that. Yeah, <laughs> cute laugh. I don't know, not at all. I don't hate you. Ha ha ha, cute laugh. Well, you're kind of weird, but I don't hate you either. Ah. <sighs> <laughs> Natsuki turns to me. You're still on trial, though. Hey! What did I do? Suddenly the door swings open. Oh shit, guys. Gotta be careful. Sorry, I'm super sorry. Ah, there you are. I didn't mean to be late. We hope you guys weren't worried or anything. Nah. Well, Natsuki was. I was not. Ha <laughs> Cute laugh. What took you so long anyway? Uh... Well, my last period today was study hall. To be honest, I just kind of lost track of time. Ha ha ha. Cute laugh. That makes no sense, though. You would have heard the bell ring, at least. I must not have heard it since I was practicing piano. Piano? I wasn't aware you played music as well, Monica. Ah, don't give me more credit than I deserve. Because I've been practicing for a while, but I'm still not really good yet. Still, that must require a lot of dedication. So I'm still impressed. Ah, well thanks, Yuri. You should play something for us sometime. Haha, <laughs> that's... Monica looks at me. Well, I am working on writing a song, but it's not quite done yet. Maybe once I get a little bit better, I will. That sounds cool. I look forward to it. Is that so? In that case... I won't let you down, Alan. Monica smiles sweetly. But don't think I'm, on, I'm not onto your games, Monica. I know you're supposed to be the popular girl. Like the, like the main girl. But I'm with Yuri. Uh, I didn't mean any pressure or anything like that. Ha ha ha, don't worry. I was hoping that I could share it with you anyway. I guess that's why I've been practicing so much recently. I see. I'm not sure if Monica is referring to the whole club, or just me. In that case, best of luck. Thanks. So I didn't miss anything, did I? No, not really. I chose not to bring up that t uh, anything that the three of us talked about. Besides, Natsuki has already run off into the closet. Alan, um, since your compliments put me in a good mood. Um, Yuri, what are you saying? I was wondering if you'd like to spend some time together today. I mean, in the club. Aww. I thought, I thought it was going to be a bit more intimate than that. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I planned on it anyway. Okay. Can we start now? Let's find a place to sit. Uh, I'm being a little forceful, aren't I? I'm sorry. My heart just won't stop pounding for some reason. Don't worry about it. If anything, it's nice to see you have so much energy. Yeah, but... I need to try to calm down. I won't be able to focus on reading like this. Take your time. Yuri takes a deep breath and pulls a copy of the book out of her bag. Actually, I have a request. Do you mind if I make some tea first? Not at all. Thanks very much. 
If there's one thing that can make my reading time here any better, it's a nice cup of tea. Not to mention for yourself as well. Yuri stands up and makes her way through the closet. I follow and watch as she re retrieves a small water pitcher from the shelf. The kind with a filter inside. Can you hold this for a second? Sure. Yuri hands me the water pitcher and also fetches an electric kettle. I'm going to plug this in at the teacher's desk. Then I'll go get some water. She walks past me and sets the kettle down on the teacher's desk. I simply watch her movements. To my surprise, the way she moves really contrasts with her speaking mannerisms. Especially because of her long legs, Yuri appears elegant and methodical. Okay, may I have the water pitcher? Thanks, I'll be right back. Uh, I might as well walk with you. That's okay. You stay here. It won't take long. Uh, well, if I remember last time, Monica butted in. Pitcher in hand, Yuri hurries out of the classroom. Ah. Uh, did Yuri leave you again? No, it's not like that this time. She's just filling up the water pitcher to make tea. Oh, okay. Sorry for misunderstanding. Dots. Ten minutes pass. Yuri said it wouldn't take long. Is something holding her up? I'm bored just waiting here, so I decide to go look for her. So last time I fed her chocolate, but if things freak out on us again, then it, that could get mes messed up really bad. So let's hope that things go out go all right this time. I'm kind of worried that this time around, the more I try to get closer to a girl, the tougher it's going to be. Unlike the first playthrough. Let's see. The most logical place for Yuri would be the nearest water fountain. I start heading down the hallway. Ha. 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 What's that noise? It's coming from around the corner. Okay. Let's be careful. This could, this could be either really weird or really scary, freaky. Sounds like breathing. Sharp inhale. Like someone sucking the air through their teeth. Are they in pain? Reach the corner and peer around it. Yuri? Gah! Oh. <laughs> well played. Well played. Was she fapping? I think she was fapping. I'm back. Yep. Thanks for waiting patiently. Wait, does Yuri have some kind of control here? I thought for sure it was completely Monica, but... I mean, Monica might have done that, but... Alan, do you like oolong tea? Uh, yeah. Anything is fine. Very well. Yuri sets the temperature on the kettle to 200 degrees. Now it's time to get the teapot. You really do this properly, don't you? Of course. I shouldn't do any less when I'm making tea for others. Even if I'm not an expert on tea or anything. Oh, even if I'm not an expert on tea or anything? Hoo hoo. In that case, you'll only be even more impressed. Ah, perhaps I will. Yuri fetches the teapot and begins measuring the tea leaves. To my surprise, she even starts humming a little to herself. You must be in a good mood now. <laughs> must have done something to perk yourself up. Is that so? I was letting it show. 
and you noticed. I was doing a bit of thinking. I decided I would try expressing myself a little bit more. It turns out it's not very hard for me to do. Well, it's you who's around, anyway. Ah. Uh, that's great, Yuri. Just don't push yourself too much. You're always worrying about me, Alan. It's very endearing. That's... Yuri wasn't kidding. I don't even know if I can keep up with this. I watched Yuri pour a cup of tea for each of us. Alan, I have another request. Do you mind if we sit on the floor today? Eh? Why is that? It's a little bit easier on my back. I can wriggle with my back against the wall rather than bending over at my desk. Oh, sorry, I didn't realize. No worries. I just have back pain fairly regularly, so I do my best to manage it. Is that so? I wonder why that is. It's most likely because my... Uh... My... Your posture, right? Yeah. Always hunched over like that while reading. Yes! I have terrible reading posture. So that's why we should sit down on the floor. Fair enough. I'll go ahead and get the book. I retrieve the book from my bag. Ah, I have some chocolate as well. Oof. Now here's where things could get really problematic. I, I just hope that like she doesn't accidentally bite my finger or something. It's a bag of small chocolate candies. I take it, since it'll go well with the tea. Yuri and I then sit against a wall, teacups at our side. As if in sync, we assume the same reading position as last time, each holding one half of the book. Ah, thank goodness that poster isn't there anymore. That was really bothering me. Except this time, our bodies are even closer to each other. I can't see too well. Up. Uh, Yuri slides closer until our shoulders are touching. How am I supposed to focus on reading like this? Yuri was always kind of cute, but... When she's being less apprehensive, it's almost more than I can handle. Your teacup. Yuri hands me my teacup. Holding it with my hand that's not holding the book, I end up in a position that makes it even harder to focus. Because now I need to worry about making sure I don't accidentally ch touch her chest. Not that I would mind it, but she would probably mind it. Meanwhile, Yuri hasn't noticed a single thing. She wears an, her intense reading expression, and I can only presume the world around her has faded away. I use all of my willpower to focus on reading. Uh, after a few minutes, I finally manage to relax a little. I put the teacup between my legs and fumble with the chocolate wrapper. Uh, sorry. I briefly let go of the book to finish opening the wrapper. You can have as much as you want. Uh, that's... That's okay. I won't take any. Uh, are you sure? Well, if I touch it, then I might get smudges on the pages. Uh, you're right. I didn't even think about that. My bad. No need to apologize. I'll hold the book, okay? Are you sure? Of course. Yuri opens the book with both hands. Alright, here's where things could go really bad. Okay. Ooh, there's like a little glow in her eyes. It's a book with both hands. She holds it so that I don't have any harder of a time reading from it. As a result, her left arm is practically le resting on top of my leg. Well, in that case... 
Yuri's already totally focused on reading again. I take a chocolate candy and pop it into my mouth. Then, I take another chocolate. <sighs> okay, here it goes. You're so hoping that it's as cute as last time. And I hold it up to Yuri. She doesn't even look away from the book. She simply parts her lips, as if this situation was completely natural. That means I can't stop here. I apprehensively place the chocolate in her mouth. Just like that, Yuri closes her lips over it. Eh? Yuri's expression suddenly breaks. Did... Did I just... Yuri looks at me like she needs to confirm what just happened. Um... Alan... So, sorry. I guess I shouldn't have done that. Uh... Why the music stop? Yuri? Stay calm. It was just chocolate. It's just chocolate. It was just... Yuri starts to breathe heavily. Oh no. Yuri? Yuri? D d don't lose your cool, Yuri. I... I can't. Alan. Sully? Yuri forcefully grabs my arm and jerks me to my feet. Oh no. Where is it Yuri getting all this passion from? My teacup gets knocked over. Alan. My heart. Oh no, Yuri. Yuri. My heart won't stop pounding, Alan. I can't calm down. I can't focus on anything anymore. Can you feel it, Alan? Yuri suddenly presses my hands against her chest. <laughs> yeah, I can feel it. I can feel s several things. Why is this happening to me? Oh no. This might have been a bad idea. I, I don't want to give this girl a heart attack. I feel like I'm losing my mind. I can't make it stop. Yuri? What's with those eyes? It even makes me not want to read. I just want... Yuri? What did I tell you about going to Andre? I told you to stay to Andre. To look... at you. Uh... Yuri? <laughs> Yuri? Yuri? Uh, Yuri. Uh, oh. Um, it's time to share poems. Okay, well. Huh. <laughs> this is concerning. <sighs> Before, what happened to Yuri? <sighs> well, we're going to have to address it in the next episode. See ya.